Hey guys, what's up? Sam here of a tech talker. Today I'm going to show you guys a how to get a um muzzle flash in Windows Movie Maker. Now this is totally free, only a couple of steps, pretty basic, and it um turn and it produces a very very realistic and professional looking uh gun uh, muzzle flash. Now, first off, uh you're going to head over to my website. I'm going to have the gun package effects download. So all you have to do is go to my website, www.techtalkertuts.tk, go to links, and then click on the download link, and then download the uh, the gun package, and then proceed on from there. So, first you got to record your shot. Now mine is just simply a hand moving twice up and down. Uh, I do have guns, but I just, you know, thought it would be pretty basic with this. Now we're going to be putting a muzzle flash right in front of here. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. And again, uh, this was requested by a uh, fan or friend that goes to my school. He does want me. He does not want me to mention his name, but uh, you know this is just going out for him. So um, let's go ahead and get started. First, when you import your video into uh, Windows Movie Maker, you're gonna look at this little time bar, and you're gonna try to find right before the gun actually shoots, like where the sh bullet would come out if this if this was a real gun. So go okay. So now we gotta move the frame button down here. Probably right about here. Okay, so now we are going to split that. Then we're going to click let it you gotta let it load a little bit. Then we're gonna click one frame ahead. Then we're gonna split it again. Let me zoom in here. Oh, I'm zoomed in all the way. But as you see we have a little split uh clip right in the middle. So I'm going to take a photo of that. Now I tested this and this button for me wasn't working so I'm going to go up to tools take picture from preview. Okay? And then I'm just going to save it to folder test gun one. Okay, make sure it's JPEG and then hit save. Let it you know, import. Better get rid of this. All right. So now we're going to uh, where the next step comes in. We gotta edit the photo so we can overlay the muzzle flash onto the um, picture that we took. But as you know, in Windows Movie Maker, you cannot do this. You cannot put a muzzle flash over top of your video button because it's very li a limited program. But to do this, you're gonna head over to the GIMP website www.gimp.org all links and serials will always be in the description so check down there and you're just going to hit download and then download your uh, server for me just windows and so forth so once you have gimp uh, installed it does take a while to open up so i have this here we're going to go to file gotta let it load file open and then we're going to select the uh, picture that we saved. Range. Okay, so when we go to open image, we're going to find the image that we saved. So I'm in my pictures here. And my test is right here. And then we got our picture. So we're just going to hit open. Let a little green bar load. And it's going to open up this. Now you can uh, make this a little bit bigger. I like full screen usually. And now we're going to put on the muzzle flash. So go to your gun package where you saved it to from my website. And then you can choose whichever one best uh, fits. Alright, so I think I saved mine to my documents. <clears throat> and it was. Try to find the folder. Tech Talker Gun Effects. And then you can look at the picture ones, which are down here. And then I included some sound. Uh, some sound with it too, and we'll, we'll get to that later. So I'm going to choose the one that best. This is a flash machine. That's a, that's a shotgun. That one might be pretty good. Actually, I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to hit open. Now I'm going to go over to it. There we go. And now we're going, it's already, um, you don't have to do any editing with this. It's already, uh, I forget the name of it, Afro something. But, uh, <laughs> so we're going to get the selecting tool, okay, and we're just going to make a pretty decent selection. And then we're just going to control C or copy that. We can exit out of this, still save, go back to here, and then control V. Okay, so now we have this right here. Now we're going to decrease the size by clicking on this little window. 
just gonna make it smaller. You know, you can basically this is free transfer. Okay, let's scale. Go back to this. I'm gonna drag it. And make it a little bit smaller. So this right now you're just shaping this to your gun or finger. So drag this. Mm. Okay. What about there? Click away. Or get rid of that. Or control D. Okay. So we have this. Alright, so we have this. Now we're gonna go to the file, save that is gun one edited. Okay, and just save it. Uh, I'm just gonna save it to my test folder. Make sure that you save it as a JPEG. JPG, here it is. Okay, and this is saved. Now, little box is gonna come up. Set export. And then 90 is pretty good. This is the quality. You can make 10 if you want. Now we're going to go back and do Windows Movie Maker. Okay. We're going to delete that little, uh, you know, clip. Then we're going to go up to Import Pictures. Now we're going to go to where we just saved that edited photo. So my pictures, test. Okay, we have it right here. Click it, hit Import, let it load. Wait until you see the uh, preview and not the little black thingy. I hope it doesn't freeze up on me. Okay, so now it's all loaded up. I'm gonna drag it in between the split clips. Now we're just gonna uh now that we have this dragged in, now you see it's really long. We don't want it that long so it'll be like shot, boom 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 boom. I've been gone up. So to get rid of that, I'm just gonna go one frame over, split, delete all the excess, and then boom. We have ourselves a Pretty, uh, sometimes because it's very itchy, you can't really get it in there. See, you can kind of get a glimpse of it. Well, not there, you can't. See, so there you go. And if you want, you can always increase the frames, but I'm just going to keep it at one. Okay, now it's time to add the sound. So import audio music, and then we're going to get it from my, uh, my gum package again. So it's in my documents. Tech Talker. There we go. And then let's do gun, uh, gun cock. Hit import. Drag this down. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong sound. Alright, let's go back up to import audio. Uh, gunshot, too. That's what I wanted. Sorry, guys. So now drag this down. Okay. Now let's see. Kind of a little bit laggy. No, it's just a computer. Oh, again, laggy. Can't fit that image in. But I promise when you save this, it will turn out pretty good. And then I have a second shot, but this video was too long in there. But yeah, guys. Uh, hope you guys liked that um, quick little tutorial. Well, kind of quick. I don't really know yet. On how to make a muzzle flash for free in Windows Movie Maker. So again, guys, to download the gun package for audio and the pictures, go to my uh, website www.techtalkertuts.tk. All descriptions for GIMP and my gun package download will be in the description. Thank you very much, guys, and thank you for watching.